hello from the Escalante in Utah. We are setting out here at Harris Wash on a four night, five day trip. We'll be going through Chop Rock Canyon, Neon Canyon. We'll be seeing uh, the Golden Cathedral and should be a, a really cool trip. And I've got uh, Jason here from Colorado <laughs> and then Joey's right ahead of us, Joey Coconata. And uh, yeah, it's beautiful weather, beautiful fall day, sunny. We've got some color here on the trees and uh, really excited for this trip. We got a late start starting at 4 p.m. We left my vehicle at the Harris Trailhead and we would end at the Egypt Trailhead where we left Jason's vehicle. We'd see a whole lot of amazingness in between. probably a little over two miles and I think we found our camp for the night. We've got water running below us, beautiful red wall here, some fall color behind us on this little cliff and uh, yeah, it's very pretty. Let's do it, let's set up. So about 20 feet away from where we are setting our tents up, there's this tarantula just cruising by our camp. Well, he kind of stopped cruising once he saw us looking at him. So uh, I was going to back off and let him get out of here. Secretly though, I wanted that tent for a long time. Which one I have? How are you feeling this morning, Jason? Great, fantastic. So far, so good. It's cold. The sun's gonna get out here soon. It's gonna warm up the canyon. It's gonna be like 78 degrees. We're gonna mosey our way down to the Escalante. And then, uh, yeah, we gotta wrap up camp first. Yeah, sun comes out pretty late. Yeah, so hopefully uh, that happens here soon. <laughs> Within the hour. Good morning. It is day two. We are here in Harris Wash. We found our camp about six o'clock last night, maybe a little after six, and it gets dark at about 6.30. So we just set up and had dinner, stayed up probably till about nine, and uh, had a good night's sleep. And now we're just waiting for the sun to get into this campsite. Doesn't get light in the morning until about 7:45, almost 8 o'clock. I woke up at 6 and it was still pitch black and lots of stars out. Could have been 2 o'clock in the morning, but uh, it's beautiful now. It's going to warm up, I think, a little bit and we're going to get hiking pretty soon. It's uh, nice to wake up among these red walls and uh, be here in the Escalante. All right, we're getting a 10.30 a.m. start. Not that it matters at all because we're not really in any hurry today. Just gonna head down canyon. You can 
see we're walking in the creek, there's a uh, kind of a path in places, but not always, and it's kind of brushy in here right now. So we are just walking down the canyon in the creek, and uh, when we get down to the river, probably start looking for a camp. The majority of this trip would take place in the Glen Canyon National Recreation Area. We've been seeing these bear tracks for like the last hour now and they're really starting to get prominent here in the mud. You can see it's definitely I would say like a medium sized black bear, not big, but still that's not a tiny black bear. And they're just all over the place coming up the canyon from the Escalante River. The Harris Wash seemed to be a habitat for bears as there were tracks all up and down the entirety of it. We're still making our way down the Harris Wash. It's uh, very brushy on land, but every once in a while we jump up on land. We're walking in the water for some of the time and uh, just kind of slow going because we have a lot of obstacles to maneuver around, but it's been really beautiful because we have these really high red walls around us and the fall color and uh, it's just a beautiful day, beautiful blue sky. So, couldn't ask for much more, and we're just making our way to the Escalante River. I don't think we're too far now. Escalante. How's it feel, boys? It feels awesome. great. It feels refreshing to get somewhere new. Escalante. We have found our camp for the night, not too far from the confluence with the Harris Wash and Escalante River. We just came down the river a little ways and we found this beautiful site. It's kind of out in the open. We've got all these yellow trees around us. The beautiful walls, there's views 360 degrees. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I think we're all pretty 
tired from the hike today and ready to get some dinner started and uh, enjoy this evening here. The moon is going to be really bright. It's behind me. It was really bright last night, so we should have a lot of moonlight, hearing the cricket sounds. It should be a really nice night. How's it going? It's going. What did you think of the hike today? It was perfect. It was casual. It was mellow. Meandering through this small, like, coyote gulch vibe kind of canyon. It was great. Loved it. Spent most of the day, day chilling. And we finally got to the Escalante, which is great. Finally, good to be back here. So, it was a great day. Golden fall colors. Feels like Thanksgiving. I love it. We're here with the CG. You just let out a big yes. Yes! What was what was that about? Are you excited to be here at camp? I am. Well, I'm just excited to be here in general. Okay. Yeah, it's beautiful. Good, good We're answer. surrounded by these red walls. We had a kind of a challenging but cool hike today. And uh, yeah, it was what, awesome. What was challenging about today's hike? Just that there was a, quite a bit of bushwhacking when we got <laughs> on land. There, it was very overgrown and brushy. Yeah. yeah, there's no trails here. It's just route finding, a little bit of trail here and there, but yeah, a lot more bushwhacking than we probably thought. And, yeah. uh, Is this trip living up to the adventure level you were expecting coming into this? You had a tarantula all night at camp, yeah. you had the bear tracks all day, yeah. bushwhacking, you got pretty wet and dirty feet. You're, uh, <laughs> you having fun out here? I'm having a great time. All right. Yeah. Sweet. Yep. some ice in the water here so it's definitely a chilly morning this morning good morning it is day three here in the escalante we are camped not far from the escalante river this morning we've just kind of been taking our time it woke up to a very cold morning water was frozen uh, so obviously it got to freezing at least but stayed nice and warm inside our tents and inside our sleeping bags it's nice and warm now, sun's out, and uh, we are getting packed up to head over to Chop Rock Canyon. The plan is to camp somewhere around there, probably along the Escalante River, and maybe do some day hiking into the Slot Canyon. So, it should be an awesome day today. Here's a good look at the Escalante River this morning. And we're basically just gonna be following alongside it. We'll cross it in a few places. It's not too deep, maybe need a waist deep max possibility so won't be too bad and it's pretty clear sometimes it's muddy but right now you can kind of see it is uh clear that might be knee deep but nothing wrong with knee deep water We have been in the water a lot. We're finding that it's kind of easier just to walk in the creek than try to find the trails. There's a bunch of trails in here. Not really maintained trails, but brushy trails. And then sometimes it's just easier to be in the water. following you here 
Yeah, I may have jumped the gun. I thought there was going to be a trail up here. This is kind of a route. We thought we might have a reprieve from thrashing and bushwhacking when we joined the Escalante River. However, we still had a lot more of that to do. The breeze was warm today, so it actually felt good being in the water. We have finally made our way, thrashed our way down to Chop Rock Canyon. This is Chop Rock Creek coming in here on the left. If there's any water. It doesn't look like there's any water. But woohoo! We are gonna stop here and uh, figure out what our next move is. But we're at the mouth of Chop Rock Canyon and uh, very brushy. We had made it to camp just inside Chop Rock Canyon. It is beautiful. We have an amazing camp here. The sun has gone down. The guys went down to the Escalante River to get some water. It's not too far from here. And uh, I am going to kick back here at camp, maybe have some dinner, listen to a podcast. They may go into the canyon, but uh, I will go in the morning. I want to be able to see it with some light in there. And uh, yeah, I think I can wait until the morning. Today was a really good day. We mostly walked in the Escalante River, got in and out of the river, still a little more bushwhacking than we were anticipating, following some cow trails, some root finding, but it was beautiful. A nice warm breeze, so being in the water felt really good actually. So it was nice and cool, and it's just beautiful with the fall leaves. The wind was blowing, the leaves are falling off the trees. It was just gorgeous, and I'm really, Kind of, it's kind of surreal being here. I'm very happy to be here, but just leaving the Sierra and now being here um, in Red Rock Country, it is, it is feeling surreal, but I feel very lucky. Anyhow, tomorrow the plan is to get over to Neon Canyon and uh, I'm excited about that too, Golden Cathedral. It's really beautiful. I have seen that before, so that is a portion of the trail that I have done before.
Today was going to be an exciting day. We would begin by exploring Chop Rock Canyon, the Slot Canyon. After that, we'd head back to camp, pack up, and head over to Neon Canyon, which would include a high traverse. Canyon has gotten so narrow we can touch both sides of the walls, which uh, is pretty cool. After packing up camp, it was time to begin our trek over to Neon Canyon. All right, we have packed up camp and we are climbing out of Chop Rock Canyon, which you can see below me here. Escalante River, it's running out there. We're gonna see that in a second. What we're gonna do here is we're taking the high route over so we don't have to walk down by the river and we're gonna have some pretty good views when we get out on this bench. Already got good views now. So this is our last look at Chop Rock Canyon. Oh, it's beautiful cottonwoods. This is where things were going to get really interesting for me. For someone who is a little afraid of heights, it was going to be a bit tense. However, the views from up high would be incredible.
Cat is loving this right now. Cat, what do you want to say about uh, the Neon Traverse so far? Is it five stars? Vacation. Yeah. A vacation. <laughs> a little bit of a no-fall zone, but um, you got it. <laughs> Look at that face. Look at that face. That is what excitement looks like. I'm gonna follow you out here. No. No. <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. I got it. You got it. Okay, well, he'll bring it up here. Just come right here. and hand, You're gonna come in this corner. And then you're gonna come up this, okay? So. Fence Canyon straight across from us. So tomorrow we're gonna be, we'll probably be down there. You can see the Escalante River. Um, we'll be heading that way. It's like two or three miles to get back up to Egypt Trailhead, which is like somewhere up in there. That's how we're gonna finish the trip. But for now, we get one more last night here in Golden Dome Country. We're gonna follow Cat around the corner here to finish the traverse. We have made it to our camp number four. We're here in the Neon Canyon. It was a great day. We started out at Chop Rock Canyon and did the hike into the Slot Canyon. It was about a five mile round trip hike. It was just amazing in there. We started out with a cloudy day, but then it got sunny and beautiful, a little windy. <laughs> and we started our trek over here to Neon Canyon. We did a high route, uh, which was a little bit more challenging than I had expected. <laughs> we uh, did some ledge walking and for me, I'm a little sketched out of heights. So it was, you know, a little tense at times, but it was, you know, once I was, once it was all said and done, it was amazing and I'm really glad I did it and that we went that way. We're here at this awesome camp here in Neon Canyon now and uh, tomorrow we'll go check out Golden Cathedral before uh, packing up camp and heading on out of here. It's been an amazing trip so far. Day number four. This is what's for dinner tonight, ramen. Jason, what are you having for dinner tonight? Ramen. Joey, what are you having for dinner tonight? Mr. Noodles. <laughs> Mr. Noodles. <laughs> Which is ramen. Uh, no, Canadian it's ramen. It's not it's no? ramen. No. <laughs> it's Mr. Noodles. <laughs> oh, Mr. Noodles, yeah. Good morning. It is day five, our final day here on this trip. And woke up here right at the mouth of the Golden Cathedral Canyon. So we are going to start the day by hiking to the Golden Cathedral and then head back to camp and pack up and get ready to get on out of here. But it's another absolutely gorgeous day, a little chilly this morning but otherwise just a beautiful day. It's been just an epic and amazing trip.
We had made it to the Golden Cathedral. To Fence Creek Canyon without any difficulty. Woo! All right, we're beginning our climb out of the Escalante Canyon. How uh, high up do we have to climb, Cat? 1,300 feet. Mm, 